What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we have the LifeCard 22 Magnum pistol. I'm sure most of you are familiar with these. They've been around a long time and I've been wanting to try one really since they first came out. So it's basically a single shot pistol that folds into this so you can easily fit it in your pocket. They make them in 22 long rifle and 22 Magnum that I'm aware of. If there's other calibers, let me know down in the comments. Now I'm not gonna say that this is the world's smallest pistol because there are some pretty small guns out there, but I do think it's gotta be one of, if not the most concealable pistol because of its ability to fold into basically the size of a credit card that's like half an inch thick. It even has this little holster that comes with it that really makes it look and feel like a small wallet. So for concealability, the life card is definitely one of the best. And believe it or not, I have never tried one of these in any caliber. So today we're gonna give it a shot and see how effective the world's most concealable pistol actually is. Life card 22 mag, let's do it. Hey guys, while I got your attention, I wanted to remind everyone about the Paul Harrell fundraiser. If you haven't got a t-shirt yet, go grab one. All the proceeds go to help Paul in his fight with cancer. And this is a battle I'm all too familiar with. I've got family going through the exact same thing. Cancer sucks, I hate it, and Paul deserves everyone's support. It's through TriStar Trading Apparel. If it's still going on when I post this video, I will put a link in the description box below. Thanks. All right, the way this thing works is pretty interesting. It has a little switch on the side that you pull down, which unlocks the folding mechanism and exposes the trigger. Now it's starting to actually look like a little handgun. And then on top, there's another switch. When you pull that, it opens the barrel. Put your round in the chamber, 22 Magnum. By the way, I'm glad that I got the 22 Magnum version because 22 long rifle is just not a good self-defense round in my opinion. 22 Magnum ain't great, but it's definitely better than 22 LR. Close the barrel, cock the hammer, which is right there on the back, and she's ready to go. It's my very first time ever shooting one of these, so let's see how it feels. <laughs> that actually has quite a bit of recoil. Did not expect that, and miraculously we hit the target. Don't know how, but we did. Then to open the barrel, you pull the switch again and you can try to extract the spent shell casing. Got it. Man, that actually felt pretty dang powerful. Let's shoot it again. And one thing I forgot to mention, it also has this little storage compartment in the grip where you can keep your spare ammo. Let's be honest, this is a single shot pistol. Probably not one that you're gonna be reloading in a self-defense situation, but it is nice to have just in case you need it. Let's see if we can hit that tiny little green target. I think it's like a six inch plate at the most. Probably not gonna happen, but. We hit it. <laughs> well, that was a happy accident. Don't know how I did that. I was aiming like six inches low and six inches to the right, and somehow we hit it. But man, I gotta say, this thing is actually pretty fun. It's snappy as heck, which I did not expect. And on that one, I saw a pretty big fireball come out of the muzzle. And I mean, you can hear how hard those bullets are hitting the target. It's not like a nine millimeter, but definitely more than a 22 long rifle. Hey guys, before we go any further, I wanna take just a minute to tell you all about Black Forest Supplements, and more specifically, NMN. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably heard of NMN by now. It's a powerful supplement that's been shown to provide numerous health benefits such as improved energy, weight management, strength, endurance, and even anti-aging properties. And of course the government via the FDA does not approve of this supplement because they're not getting a piece, which is why they are making moves to label NMN a drug, which would basically just allow pharmaceutical companies to swoop in and monopolize it. And this strategy, just to be clear, is not driven by concerns over the safety or efficacy of NMN, but it's a power play to corner the market, take all the money, and remove the supplement from your reach. Black Forest Supplements are fighting for freedom of choice, and they have decided to continue selling NMN, even though it is very risky for them to do so. And as a result, you still have the opportunity to try Black Forest's NMN supplement for yourself. I've been taking this stuff for several months now, and I'll be honest, I definitely noticed an improvement in energy levels, mental clarity, gym performance, stuff like that. I also just like supporting companies that stand for what I believe in, like 
freedom of choice and fighting against these oppressive government tactics. With the sale of this supplement potentially coming to an end due to the FDA's actions, now is the time to try it before it's too late. And you can even get a 25% off discount if you use the code SHOT at blackforestsupplements.com. That is discount code SHOT at blackforestsupplements.com slash SHOT. All right, I went ahead and got out the shot timer. What I wanna do is time myself deploying this thing like I would in a self-defense situation. So I've got the life card in its little holster and I'm gonna put this in my jacket pocket, probably with my hand on it, like I'm standing outside and I suspect that something is about to go down. And we'll see how long it takes to draw, unfold, cock and shoot. Ah. Uh. Holster got hung up, missed the target, and that was 3.91. So basically, good grief, boys. Basically four seconds to get one 22 Magnum off, and I missed the target. But to be fair, we're at like 15 yards away from a little steel silhouette. It would probably be a lot closer than that in real life, but four seconds ain't good, that's for sure. I'm thinking just for fun, we should see how long it takes to draw, shoot, reload and shoot so two rounds out of the life card it's probably going to be like 30 seconds at least but we'll give it a shot all right i've got one in the chamber and one in the grip i'm not even going to try to hit the target with these this is just about two shots as fast as we can do it we got that one out of there that was all luck Hey, we hit the target on the second shot. 13.26. That even surprises me. So 13.2 seconds to draw, shoot, reload, and then shoot another round. That's a little faster than I thought it would be. All right, first test with the Life Card 22 Magnum pistol. I have some 12 ounce sodas on the table and we are gonna shoot the CCI Maxi Mag TNT. This is a 30 grain bullet going 2200 feet per second. We're probably getting half that out of the life card if we're lucky. And I have to be close because there ain't no way I'm hitting a small target at long range with this pistol, so. Let's see what it does. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, I assume that is the first can that took a bullet impact. Even at close range, the bullet is going very high. I aimed right in the middle of it and it still hit dang near at the top of that thing. So there's one, two, you can see how high that entrance hole is. Number three, don't know what order these are in, but I know we have three cans exploded for sure. We've got bees out here in February, which is cool, I guess. Don't come at me, bro. All right, number three, I'm trying to film without this thing attacking me. Number three, number four, Oh, the bullet's in number four. We actually captured the bullet. That B is about to piss me off. Okay, so it stopped in the fourth can. Go ahead and take this over here, away from the bees, and let's look for a bullet. There it is. <laughs> Perfectly expanded. It's like a little miniature hollow point. That is awesome. I've never seen a 22 do that before. Usually 22s just break apart or don't do nothing. That one actually expanded perfectly. And you saw the energy that it hit those pop cans with. It actually exploded them quite a bit, at least the first two or three. So not the world's most effective caliber, obviously, but not something I'd want to be shot with either. All right, that one destroyed four cans, so we have eight left. We'll go ahead and try a 22 Magnum ball round and see what the difference is. This one should get more penetration, hopefully 
less damage and less liquid coming back at me. Let's see. Still got me. All right, we have one, two, three, four on the table, which means one of these down here was also from the full metal jacket ball round. So five cans completely exploded. We had eight total. And then number six just has a small little puncture wound right there. I don't think the bullet is in there, but I'll go ahead and check. That's a very small hole. Yep, no bullet. So unfortunately we did not capture the 22 magnet ball round. It probably curved and exited out the side, but we know at the very least it did get more penetration than the hollow point because it hit five pop cans. And to be honest, they both did a lot more damage than I was expecting. Not bad. All right guys, we have one more test to do with the life card pistol. And I would say this is definitely the most important one the ballistic dummy lab head. So this is exactly what it sounds like. It's a ballistic shell head with fake skull and fluid underneath it. And this should tell us precisely how the life card would perform if you were to use it for self-defense. And you know, the 22 Magnum is a caliber that I've been wanting to test for a very long time because they say back in the mafia days, 22 LR and 22 Magnum were very popular to use on hits because they're super effective, but don't make a huge mess or a loud noise. Some people even go as far as saying that 22s bounce around like a pinball inside the target. I don't believe that. I made a video on it. It's kind of hard to prove or disprove either way. I digress. 22 Magnum life card pistol. How effective is it for self-defense? Let's find out. All right, here we go. We're going to shoot the same bullet, the 30 grain CCI Maxi Mag, the only hollow point that we have. And I would say definitely the most effective 22 Magnum that we have. I'm gonna shoot this one literally at point blank range because I don't wanna risk messing it up, so. Here we go. Well, our life card is covered in fluid, but that's a good sign. Let's check it out. And there's the entrance hole from our Life Card 22 Magnum right there on our Ballistic Dummy Lab zombie head. You can see all the unburnt gunpowder that came out and just stuck right onto that ballistic shell. That's typically what happens with short little barrels, which is why the bullets don't get as much velocity. It just doesn't burn all of that powder. And then over here, if I can show you without covering it up, we actually have some pretty big fractures running along that skull. We have one on top that goes basically from the front to the back, and then another one right there on the side. So it did a surprising amount of damage and a lot more zombie blood came out than I expected. It all landed right on my hand. And then if we go around to the back, there are no exit holes, which I would say is a good thing. No over penetration, but definitely powerful enough to get to the middle of that zombie head. So that's effective. I don't think too many zombies would survive a shot like that. It clearly penetrated to the vitals. We got fluid. It didn't do like a ton of collateral damage, but all that matters is that the bullet did get enough penetration and it did not over penetrate, which is also a good thing. So I would say the 22 Magnum life card pistol is absolutely effective enough to use for self-defense if you only need one bullet, which wouldn't be my first choice. All right, guys, that is the 22 Magnum Life Card Pistol. I'm a fan of this thing. Obviously, I would never recommend this as like a primary CCW pistol, but as a backup to a backup or something like that, I think it's a very cool concept. It's so small, thin, and lightweight, it's almost like, why not just throw it in your pocket and forget it's even there. And then if you get in a pinch or something happens to your regular concealed carry gun, 
you've got a little backup with 22 magnums, which as we saw, are very effective. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, I'd be glad to hear from you. If you like the video, please hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.